Welcome to NGU Fitness, I'm Joe. So today I'm going to give a little shout out here to a company called Doublewood, Doublewood Supplements. I uh, had the opportunity to give this a try. Uh, Cordyceps Mushroom Extract. Give you a little panel there and I'll also post it up uh, once we get further into the video. I'll post it up here uh, exactly what's in uh, the Cordyceps Mushroom Extract. So. Biggest misconception is that cordyceps technically is not a mushroom. Get that. It's not a mushroom. But it is actually, and I'm going to be reading, I got a bunch of notes here that I took on this because I, I like to do my research on supplements before I actually uh, take them. Uh, but cordyceps is actually, it's a fungus that actually grows on the larvae of an insect. That's right, people. It grows on the back of an insect, better yet, a caterpillar uh, over in China. Uh, so this supplement contained and cordyceps, uh, and if I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm reading a lot because I don't want to kind of, I want to give you the facts, give you the details, and, do, and alleviate some of your research uh, in this review of this supplement. So this product, there's, there's so many different types of cordyceps out there, um, but the main thing is, is that with the cordyceps is that there's so many health benefits, and it's been around for thousands of years. Um, the biggest thing is how they extract it, and really... Um, Chinese history, they actually used to take this from the actual caterpillar itself, harvest it, but nowadays these can also be synthesized within laboratories. So just to get down to the nitty gritty of uh, why we're all here, when I could get a, a good review or a subpar review or a poor review of how this product actually works, how it's designed, and the main benefits. So if you, if you go out and you look, and my glasses make my eyes look huge, but hey, as I get older, I need to be able to see a little bit better. All right, so one of the main uh, things that, and there are several benefits from this, but these are the key benefits that I myself um, noticed from it, and at the same time, uh, not so much pronounced, noticed some of these, um, but what I did is I kind of did a little bit of research on it before I started it, and then I dug really into it uh, after I completed uh, using it. Um, using the product. I've been using it now uh, for almost three months. Uh, this bottle of 210 capsules actually gets you a three month supply. I did a little basic research to see what this was about at first and then as about two months in I started really digging in two and a half months as I was getting ready to finish up the bottle. Uh, I was getting ready to actually do the getting ready to do the review. I wanted to see if what I felt from this was what others felt or what, what else was uh, reported in different review reviews or documented. So one of the main things is, and it says, you know, you may uh, boost energy performance. That was one of the key takeaways that I noticed from it. Because so, uh, cordyceps, they are thought to actually increase the ATP within the body uh, and the ATP production, and it deliver energy to the muscles. So this may improve in the way of your body how it actually uses the oxygen, uh, especially during exercise. So, you know, um, always into fitness, always into training, always into better myself, and always utilizing supplements uh, in some form, and I always tell you, you know, I'm not a physician. Uh, I like to experiment with supplements, uh, herbs, pre-workouts, you name it, nootropics. I like to experiment. This is one of the main things that I noticed is that there was an increased uh, boost of uh, energy. Uh, that in lung capacity, uh, also too in um, just the whole way that I was able to actually perform a little more cardio type of exercises in more detail. I started doing a little bit more jump rope. Um, into my uh, my workouts, just mainly to keep the cardio going, keep the heart pumping. I'm, I'm 48, so at this age, you know, that's one of the main things is to make sure that your cardio is uh, on point, uh, just to keep the heart healthy. And we'll get into more detail about that. So, and once I researchers tested their effects on uh, uh, capacity of 30 older adults, much like myself, um, and what they found is that the VO2 max actually increased by 7% uh, by using cordyceps. So 7%, that to me, Depending on what the product is or the ingredient or the herb, 7%, that's huge. If you're getting an increase of 7%, and it was actually in the older older population or older adults, whatever, uh, it doesn't go into exact age group that was, but when they noticed this is that it didn't impact when they were athletic or already athletes. So athletes already have that capacity or that high uh, VO2 max um, at a, a very above average already. So for the, an athlete to see that kind of performance increase, increase would be 
probably not so uh, so much. But when you have an older adult who's working out or starting to work out, who, who or who trains um, consistently, there will be that increase to see that. Uh, in summary, so cordyceps in summary on when it comes to the actual boost in exercise performance. Uh, to sum it up, it had been shown to improve uh, the measure of exercise performance in older and some younger adults, but not in well-trained athletes. Uh, athletes. So, you know, if you're just starting out, you're a young adult, you're training, you're going to see an increase. If you're that mid-range to uh, older adult, you're going to see that increase too. You're not a, a pro athlete. So that's the people kind of using these supplements. Uh, the second thing I noticed, um, and I want to say notice because, I mean, at 48, I don't think I look 48, but this is more of a clinical uh, approach of what I research. So there's anti-aging properties uh, in this, which comes along too with... Uh, with anti-aging, you tend to, as you get older, you tend to fatigue a lot faster. Uh, as me, you know, I like to stay up to, to speed on everything. I like to, my performance to be top-notch. Um, and what I found is when I actually stopped taking this, I started feeling extremely tired. I didn't know or think maybe it was allergies, um, what was going around, something, you know, what's in the ears or more pollen. Uh, no, this was the the denominator here after about a week, I was like, man, I really feel a little more fatigued than I normally do. I don't have the energy when I get up. So there's that anti-aging, that anti-performance uh, again, coming back to that. Um, so in studies with cordyceps to reduce the fatigue and boost strength, and also here's the thing, it also increases sex drive in some people. S you know, in some, yes, some, no. That'd be all your preference. I didn't notice either way. Mine was more of the uh, ATP uptake, uh, better performance uh, in the gym, um, and more um, the lack of fatigue um, when it came to training. So with that too, there's a lot of antioxidants in this. So this is a bonus too as you get older. That's your anti-aging. You got the antioxidants fighting the free radicals and things of that nature. So when it comes to cordyceps, they have the anti-aging properties. Now, you know, while these findings are really promising from the research that I did, you know, it, it is really unknown or the research, even though this has been used for thousands of years uh, in ancient med Chinese medicine, um, the things I looked up, it said is in humans, it really wasn't known. So I mean, they've been using it for thousands of years. All right. So the other third, the third one was uh, potential anti-tumor effects. So there are some claims, you know, and I'm like I said, I'm not a doctor or a physician or claim that this would actually do this, um, <clears throat> but potential anti-tumor effects. So cordyceps potentially to slow the growth of tumors has uh, generated significant interest uh, for many years. Um, what they do is they did a lot of this within test tubes, not in mice and lab rats, whatnot, but they didn't experiment this in humans. But from what they could tell is that the cordyceps may also reverse the actual side effects of many other forms of cancer therapy as well. So that is kind of a gray area. I don't like to go into that much detail about that, how um, a supplement can actually... Um, you know, it might have anti-tumor effects, but at the same time, I don't want to go into great detail of how it also could impact how your cancer therapy or things of that nature. So that was something I've researched. That's not something myself that I've been impacted by or, or have experienced, but that's just my research. That's just one of the other benefits that this may actually perform. One other thing is that it may actually help uh, with type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is rampant these days. Well, people and their sugar, you know, people go, I got the sugar. Diabetes is insane these days, mainly because of all the processed food, the sugar, the carbohydrates, everything that we take in. Cordyceps actually contains a, a, a special sugar, a type of sugar that may actually help treat diabetes. Now, may treat diabetes. And also, too, that uh, diabetes is decreased in which the body either does not produce or respond to the hormone insulin. And this is what diabetes is. It's a quick definition of what diabetes is. Diabetes is, impacts your natural sugar, your insulin in your body. So... Some evidence did suggest that it may also protect against kidney disease, which is a common uh, complication with diabetes. Um, and then in the study of about 22, uh, well, there was about 1,000, about 1,800 people uh, that had chronic uh, kidney disease that suffered from um, some type of diabetes. They utilized cordyceps and did see a benefit to it uh, and usage of it. But like I said, a lot of these you got to take with a grain of salt. One other possible thing, and this is another one, as I said, as I'm getting older, is your heart health. Um, mainly, that was one of the main reasons why I really wanted to try this, was for the heart health, 
uh, the ATP, the oxygen, more oxygen, more oxygen in your body, your heart, your blood, your brain, you know, all that thing. But cordyceps actually, what it found is that the LDL, it actually, um, LDL can actually uh, raise your risk of heart disease. And with cordyceps, um, it actually counteracts that and actually helps and benefits and fights against that. Also fights against the uh, triglycerides that are floating around in your blood. And a study found, back to the researcher, because I like the, the backup of the evidence. You know, the study found that cordyceps significantly reduced heart injuries in lab rat animals, we know rats, and also too that they also had kidney disease. Now, injuries to the heart from the chronic kidney disease are thought to increase the risk of heart failure. So reducing these injuries may also help you avoid the outcome. So similarly, cordyceps have been shown to decrease triglyceride levels in mice and rats. Now, obviously, a lot of our lab studies that first happen on animals in a lab, and then those things get passed, you know, that being things through the system, us as humans, to then that we can take. So, um, there's still a lot of research that needs to be done based around that, but I mean, any little bit, if this has been around for thousands of years, any little bit that can help, and if it just helps a percentage, like the 7% with the ATP uptake, any little bit can help might benefit your heart, and hey, that's the main ticker, no pun intended, but that's what keeps you going. And one of the other items is, is that uh, cordyceps might actually help with infl inflammation. So research uh, with the cordyceps disease, uh, inflammation makers um, or markers within animals, like such as uh, when you're working out or injuries, it may actually help with inflammation. However, there are, you know, with, with once again, this is all in a lab, some of this stuff. So in summary, uh, cordyceps, what they did is it actually uh, decreased the inflammation uh, markers uh, in these lab animals. But I also, too, notice myself that when I'm training specific, uh, like my shoulder, sometimes I sleep on my shoulders heavily, my shoulders, my arms fall asleep at night. I notice that when I train shoulders um, and back, I get a lot of joint pain and, and, and pain within here. Um, so there's a lot of inflammation, a lot of uh, uh damage done to that area. So I've noticed too that since I've been taking this is that I don't have that chronic, I don't want to call it chronic pain, because uh, sometimes you just, we live with pain and we get so used to it. But I noticed too that it wasn't, my range of motion was better, the inflammation, uh, I could tell that there was a difference. That's all I did. I didn't take any type of Advil or anything and I've kind of transitioned away from taking ibuprofen or anything like that for pain uh, or inflammation, anything of that nature for months now. Uh, where I was taking it chronically probably every day. Uh, so just think about how that also impacted my, my body. So the dosage on this, and I'll put, like I said, this is two caps. You get 105, uh, 210 capsules, 105 servings in here. So like I said, I just finished this up um, probably about a little over a week and a half, two weeks ago. I just finished this guy up. Great. Uh, as it states on it, supports longevity, promotes athletic performance, uh, by athletic performance, it means the ATP, uh, the VO2, and uh, also to the cardiovascular uh, health, as, as I mentioned. Those are the key things that really got me sold on this. Now, two caps, that gives you 1,000 milligrams, a.k.a. convert one gram. Um, so in a study, uh, the dosage that they recommend, depending on your body type and how athletic you are, or your training goals, and this is a lot of the stuff I did is uh, layman's terms of how they people train, and also two on ways, uh, just basic people just starting out the gym. So ideally, the, the dosage is anywhere from a, a one gram to three grams, that being 1,000 milligrams or 3,000 milligrams, um, all ranging on where your sweet spot is. As always, even though the recommended dose on here, these guys start you out at the recommended dose. Uh, that's the baseline, uh, which most people see great results. Others may need a little bit more. Uh, dose commonly used, like I said, one to three grams. Uh, really no no side effects reported. There's no studies. And like I said, uh, the cordyceps has been used for thousands of years in Chinese medicine. It is their way of, you know, uh, their medicine um, and the way they do things is just amazing because they look at alternatives, alternative medicine, things that are out in nature, things that are out in the woods, things that are out in and about that was there and put there for us to use naturally. Um, one of the other main things that I noticed too is that I just felt uh, getting up in the morning, I felt great getting up, uh, probably because of the lack of inflammation in different body parts, um, blood flow flowing a little bit more, got a little oxygen in there, 
brain flow in the morning, you know, there's the, the oxygen intake, like I said, those are some of the key things that I really took away from it. And to me, that was a huge benefit for me, just, just those two to three items. So the bottom line is cordyceps, cordyceps have been well known in traditional Chinese medicine and have been used for centuries to treat, to treat many uh, health elements. Uh, though it is a fungi, it shows very promising in many, many areas. Um, I think one of the craziest things is that I always thought it was a mushroom until I started doing research to find out of how this actually is made or produced and then how it gets to us. And there are synthetic versions. They're just as, as good because, you know, in the lab they can synthesize, if that's a word, uh, anything that we take on our, uh, um, that's out in nature. So to sum this all up, as, as a kind of a review, I would definitely give this out of uh, out of 10, I would definitely give this uh, an 8.9. Uh, yeah, about an 8.9, uh, about 8.5. I'd give it an 8.5 because there's always room for um, some improvement. What I really liked is that I did note uh, the things that were on the label um, with um, being able to perform a little bit more in the gym, um, the, the, the oxygen intake, and also to the cardio, cardio health. Uh, that being me be able to jump rope, do a little more cardio than normal. Um, and I do believe, I mean, for three months supply, you get a healthy dose. Now, the only time that you would run into an, an issue is that if you took the, the recommended dose and you found out you had to take more. But you know, that's not a bad thing. You, you are getting, I'll put up the, the uh, screenshot of the label again, um, right up in here. Um, but what you're getting for what you pay is an amazing deal. All right, well, I'm Joey at uh, NGU Fitness. This is probably my longest video ever uh, compared to when my fitness fitness shows were. Um, but this is uh, Cordyceps Mushroom Extract by Doublewood. As always, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, and never give up.